We got the Angels playing the Red Sox today, and a lot goes on in late innings, so let's get right into this. Pitching for the Red Sox, we got Whitlock. He's going to go for five innings, get two hits against him, two runs, three earned runs, zero walks, nine strikeouts, and someone hit a home run off him. So that was his worst start so far of the season. He now has three earned runs from today's game. Isn't that pretty cool? For the Angels pitching, we had Reed Detmers. He had 4.2 innings pitched, four hits, three runs, three earned runs, two walks, two strikeouts, and no one hit a home run off him. But the Red Sox do score on him pretty early as they, uh, in the third inning here. This hit into left field by I don't know anyone on this team's name because they don't put their names on the jersey, so forgive me. Red Sox fans, if you're actually watching this, I'm not going to have a clue who I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, this guy right there gets the base hit, but in the bottom of the fifth, Jared Walsh hits this thing off the green monster. That goes into the outfield, gets him a double, barely though, because this park makes no sense. I don't know, that outfield is so freaking short, it's insane. But that double is going to be very helpful as Stassi smashes this ball 424 feet over the green monster into that DraftKing sign. Wow, he absolutely crushed that ball. So now the Angels are tied with the Red Sox 2-2 two to two in the top of the fifth. It's looking good until the bottom of the fifth. Trevor Story strikes again. He doesn't get a home run, but he's going to hit another double. And that's going to give the Red Sox a 3-2 lead in the bottom of the fifth. But Anthony Rendon did not like that, so he's going to hit a home run into left field right there, right over the green monster. Which, you know what's funny about that home run is that would have not been a home run in Angel Stadium. And that's the only one. 29 stadiums, that's a home run. Angel Stadium, it is not. So, good thing we weren't home. But, unfortunately, in the bottom of the eighth, Xander Bogarts is going to smash a ball straight over the left field right there. Wow, they absolutely hammered that ball. The Red Sox take a late lead in the bottom of the ninth. It's now 3-4. to four. And then we're going to see Rendon hit a double this time, which is pretty cool. It's going to get some runners on. You like to see that. But, you know what? They do this nice strategy here. They decide to pull out the guy pitching and be like, you know what? Your time's over. I'm going to let your best friend do the work for you and get the runs in for you. And then Jared Walsh is going to hit a very clutch hit. That's going to tie the game up in the top of the ninth. And that's going to set the scene for some really weird late inning baseball. As in the bottom of the ninth, we have Kurt Suzuki for the first time ever playing first base. So that's pretty interesting, right? Uh, it's because they had Stassi and Suzuki batting, so they have to use them somewhere. And they get out of the ninth, though, with the strike them out, throw them out double play and that's just going to lead into the slug fest that is the top of the 10th inning when taylor ward homers on a fly ball into left center scoring in himself and max stassi making it a 6-4 game and then again the red sox don't think that pitch is working out so they bring a new one and rendon takes him to left field which is only a little single off the wall there but that's going to bring in trout and move otani up but moving Otani up doesn't matter because Jared Walsh crushes this ball over the green monster. And now we've got a 10-4 to game in the top of the 10th. Boston never recovers and they win this game 10-5. to So that was pretty fun. But let's check out right now Kurt Suzuki here. Look at He's playing first base for the first time ever. They're going to get this double play right here because he lays out, catches it. Did you see that? Wow. It almost looks like he's been playing that position for a while. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a great night. Like and subscribe.